This is about you and me getting away with whatever we can in Hollywood. This is Inside Dish with me, Ross Matthews. Inside Dish. Happy Wednesday. Now, if you saw yesterday, we were having a conversation with Jordan, the winner of Big Brother 11. She's still on the phone. You've been on hold for uh, like 24 hours. Hi, Jordan. Hey. <laughs> yesterday, we talked all about um, the, her life, what's going on. We have more of that coming up because we have tweets, right, Ryan? We do. If you want to add us on Twitter, it's uh, inside, or twitter.com slash Inside Dish Ross. Also, we mentioned this on Monday. I forgot to tell you yesterday, but here's the stuff, the Big Brother stuff, the cup that from uh, Big Brother Network. We had Every single house guest signed this cup. Also, we had them all uh, write a little note to the fans, and we took a picture with them and me. This stuff is going to be up on eBay for auction for charity. We're going to tell you more about that later this week or early next week, which charity and how you can bid on it, all of that stuff. Jordan, you signed this stuff, remember? Yes. I know. Now it's going to go do some good. Isn't that cool? I know. I'm excited. So we found out yesterday that Jordan's life has changed. People know her everywhere she goes. She bought a townhouse. She moves in on Thursday. Woot, woot. Exciting. Woot, woot. woot. And we promised that we would talk about Jeff, and that's what we're going to talk about right now, except first I want to tweet. Ryan, what's a tweet? Give me a tweet. Uh, Mom Moosey wants to know, uh, Jordan, where did you get those boots you wore on the Fox Reality Awards? Nice. Where'd you get those boots? I got them at um, Guess. It's called Guess by Ma. It's, it's like a Magion or something like that. Yeah. It's at the. Um, it's in Los Angeles, the Grove. It's in the Grove. It's in the Grove, yes. And now, uh, do you feel like a lot of pressure to look beautiful when you're going to go down a red carpet? That must be a new, weird sort of pressure. I was nervous about. I swear, I like bought three outfits for backup because I didn't know what I wanted to wear, and I had picked out I was going to wear a black sequins dress mm -hmm. and like open toe shoes, but I was afraid I would look like too much like summer and it was like raining, and then I didn't want to overdress, and then I thought this. Dress I wore the outfit. I was like, oh my god, people are probably gonna think I'm like it's way the worst dress. It's way harder to be a celebrity than you think, isn't it, Jordan? I'm not a celebrity. Ah, get bent, Jordo. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like when I saw like all what all like the other like I consider like Kim Kardashian, uh -huh. and all them like celebrities. I was like, oh my god, look at them. Did you go oh, talk god. to them at the award show? Kim Kardashian was right in front of me, and I wanted to, but I was too scared to say something to her, so she's, I didn't. She's super nice. You should say something. Ryan, we have one more tweet, and then we're going to get to Jeff's stuff, promise. Okay. I know I keep t teasing it, and everyone's mad at me, but I have to milk it, people. Go. Glory Torres wants to know, what are your plans for life after Big Brother? Are you still going to back to school to become a dental hygienist? Um, you know, I've been, a lot of people have been, like, offering stuff, and, you know, I kind of, in a way, like, I do want to go back to school and just do, like, dental hygienist and go back to the salon. But then, in a way, I kind of want to see what else I can do, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, there's... Like with Big Brother, I wasn't even going to do it. And, you know, I wasn't even, you know, I just did it. And I ended up winning, and I'm so glad I did it, or it would have been a... $500,000 mistake. And now that you have that much money, it's like, don't go to work for a while. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Please. No, I don't to go back to work. I just, you know, I don't know. I just want to... Um, Take a little time off, dear. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now we got to get really right down to it, okay? This is what everyone wants to know. We've been getting emails like crazy since all through Big Brother and since Big Brother ended. People will not let up on us, which is why we had to get in contact with you to ask this. Uh, and if you want to email us, by the way, it's inside dish at cbs.com. Jordan. Yes. Are you and Jeff together? We are together. Ah! Like officially boyfriend, girlfriend? We are. Oh, my God. Tell me how it happened. What was the conversation? You be Jordan. It just kind of, like, happened. I mean, we've been talking about it. And, you know, even though he is my boyfriend, he is, like, my best friend. We get along so well. I always, it's like we think that we think alike. I'll just be like, oh, I was just thinking that, Jeff. Like, he'll make it, he'll say, you want to go eat here? And I'm like, oh, I was just thinking about barbecue or something, you know? <laughs> and then we just, I don't it's know. True it's well. true love. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so you, you had the conversation probably on the phone where you're like, I know it's long distance, but, like, I'm totally falling. Is that how it went? In my head, that's how it went. How'd it go? 
No, it wasn't on the phone. It was more so in person because whenever we do interviews and stuff and people would ask us if we were together, I always felt like he would get shy about it and I would get mad Yeah. because I would want him to say, yes, you know, like I want to date her, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know. He Now he's getting better at his interviews. Oh, okay, good. He's giving better answers. Well, yeah. you just, you, is this the first time you've told everyone that you're officially together? Um, I think we said it on the red carpet that we were together. Everybody asked, but no. yeah, we are officially together. Good. Let's just lie to everyone. We got the exclusive, right? Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, oh my gosh, this is very exciting. So have the families met? Everyone's met. You're going forward. When's your anniversary date? Are you going to have children? Name one, Ross. Tell me more. <laughs> 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 I don't know. We'll see. You know, what about Hawaii? Is he going to take you to Hawaii? Let's start there. Um, we've been contemplating back and forth if we're going to go to Hawaii or not. I've always wanted to go somewhere where it's like crystal blue water, white sand, and you can sleep on like a, you know, like when they have the tiki huts in yeah. the water. Uh -huh. And you can just like, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm going to come with you guys. That sounds really yeah, nice. It's like a honeymoon place. Jeff's brother went to... Antigua. Did, um, did you say a honeymoon place? Do you know something we don't know? What? Are you guys getting married? No. Well, you never Maybe know. One day. Maybe one day. <gasps> I'm very excited by this. I'm very excited because I feel like you guys are like a movie star couple. Does that make sense? Because I watched it happen live. You got you had arguments. You would, you know back and forth, but it was all it was blossoming. I, I'm invested in your love. Is that weird that everybody is invested in your love life? Um. No, I mean, I guess, well, no, I don't think it's weird because, I mean, I was, like, obsessed with the newlyweds. I loved yeah. Nick and Jessica when I was in high school. I was uh. obsessed with that show. Hey, could uh. you do me a favor right now? Uh-huh. Could you text Jeff? Oh, you're on the phone, huh? Yeah. Do I don't, hang on. Let me think. I don't think I can do it, but. Like, wouldn't that be cool if we could text Jeff right now? Hang then, on. Okay. <laughs> I know this is, like. Like dead air right now, but it's riveting, isn't it? That she's texting <laughs> Jeff. Am I the only one? It's not letting me do it. It's not letting you do it. Anyway. Uh, when you're when we're done here, what I want do you to it. do is I want you to text Jeff. Ross says hi or something like that. Mm -hmm. Or what do you think about Ross? I don't know. And um, see what he texts back, and then can you email us and let us know? And we'll let people know t tomorrow what Jeff texts back. Is that cool? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Okay. Good. I've already called him twice. He's probably still sleeping. <laughs> I've called him twice and he hasn't answered. Oh. I know he was exhausted, but I will try. Again. Well, you know how boyfriends are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Jordan, I'm so excited for you. Your life, I mean, talk about your life taking such a dramatic turn. Becoming a, you know, a star, winning so much money on a reality show and falling in love. Who would have thought in just, you know, a couple months in the Big Brother lot, all of that could have happened to you? I know, and remember, Ross, I told you, I think it was you during the interview when we first did the interview before we were even on the show yet, and um, I told you, like, no show man. Remember you did? I, I said that, because I knew you were a cute girl, I knew you were beautiful, and like, people Wait, would, what? I remember, remember you told me, you said, I know the guy for you, and you, went, you were like, I will tell you after, and you never told me who was it. Kevin. Yes? It was Kevin. <laughs> no, of course it was Jeff. It was Jeff. I'm like, oh my god, there's a guy for her. There's a guy for her. And it was Jeff. Oh my god, that's so funny. I know. Yeah, no, I think everything. You know, I tell Jeff. Uh, I honestly think that things happen for a reason, and I really do think that Jeff was supposed to be on the show to meet me, and you know, and because I've always had bad luck with relationships, and he's had bad luck with relationships too. And, you know, and he's also my best friend, too, like I said. And um, also there to help me, like, win the money, too. I yeah. mean, I know he wanted to win it, but yeah. since he didn't, he really did help me a lot. Well, I know you haven't officially asked me yet, but I'll, I'm agreeing right now to sing at your wedding. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. Guess who I met the other day. <laughs> Who? Well, um, well, besides at the awards, I got to hang out with him. This is what I mean. Who? I got to hang out with Lance Bass. <gasps> I know Lance. Was he nice, too? He was good? Yes. He's so nice, and he's, like, the sweetest guy. Him and Jamie Lynn uh, Ziegler, oh. you know, uh, girls of Frana. Yes, of course. I love her. She's, like, the nicest girl. She is. And um, they're just fun. They and, are fun. Um, 
I was so nervous to talk to him, though. Yeah, well, they're big stars, but you know what? Remember that you are, too. Everyone knows who you are, and everyone loves you, Jordan. And we love you. And I cannot thank you enough for coming back to talk with us, even if it's on the phone. We want to keep up with what you're doing. We want to keep up with you and Jeff. Whenever you have updates, you call us and let us know, okay? For sure. And I want to know when you're going to Hawaii. We want pictures of that, too. Okay. Okay, good. We love okay. Jordan. Thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow, check back. We're going to find out what Jeff texted back, right? Yeah. A woot woot. Remember, um, uh, add us on Twitter at twitter.com slash Inside Dish Ross. Email us at Inside Dish at CBS.com and check out my daily blog at HelloRoss.com. Jordan, do you have a website yet? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just just blow kisses at Jordan. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Inside Dish. For more Dish. fun, Stay check bye. out the Insider.com slash Dish.